back, Worth the Read family. My name is Ashley and this is Worth the Read, where we talk about books that are worth your time reading. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's enjoying their summer. I am to the best of my ability and trying to be safe while doing so. Today's video is a book versus a movie. The book, Monster, by Walter D. Myers, versus the Netflix movie. Let's get right into it. I give this book four stars. This, I understand why this is required reading for a lot of schools, um, especially in middle school grade. This book is trigger warning. This is a book about a young black man, Stephen Harmon, who was arrested for his part in his part or his lack of having a part in a robbery of a bodega in Harlem um, that ended in the store owner being killed. And he's on trial. This book is written as he's a young filmmaker. So this book is him writing his story as if it was a script. So it's in the screenplay format you're reading. Um, the book is not long. The book, the book is not long. It's thick, but about a hundred, almost fifty to sixty pages of the back of this book is study guides, discussion questions, um, a graphic novel version, a little snippet of a graphic novel version of the book. I was not required to read this when I was in school. I think this book came out 99, 2000 ish. I was already out of middle school by then. Um, but my brother was required to read this. So I remember him having it on his dresser many years ago. Um, and then when I saw that the came finally, they've been fighting for years to get this made into a motion picture. And that came out on Netflix. Of course, Netflix is smart enough to purchase things and, you know, work on them to getting them to the public I was just like okay this is a perfect book versus the movie again I enjoyed the book four stars is a must read it took me three months almost to read this book though and I'm gonna tell you why I remember it took me that long because I started in May I started it May 16th to be exact because it was our election day here and I volunteer at the polls to work the election and I brought the book with me because you know unfortunately on election days when we're not voting for a president it's kind of slow so I brought the book with me and today it is August the 1st I'm shooting this I finished this book about a week ago that's how long it took me to read this book because it's just emotionally it's just a lot it's just a lot. Um, this young man is only 17 years old. He gets arrested. He comes from a good family. Mom, dad, working class. Um, he's an aspiring filmmaker. He's taking film classes um, as a, uh, a, I guess, like a YMCA elective, not in school, because he's in high school. So he wants to go to film school for college. And his parents are very, you know, keeping him on the the honest path to prepare to be successful as successful as you possibly can be being a young black man at that age and staying out of trouble unfortunately sometimes you really even have to be friends with other people to be guilty by association you could be acquaintances with them to be guilty by association and that's what happens he ends up getting arrested for his part in a murder of a bodega, a bodega owner um, and he's telling his story from jail and he's telling it as if he was shooting a, a movie so you're gonna see like prosecutor's name and then prosecutor's dialogue um, his defense attorney's name and then defense attorney dialogue and then you have his soliloquies that he goes into and his struggles of being in jail and he's in prison he's not in okay He's not in a juvenile detention center. He's in jail with grown people and he's 17. And in the eyes of the law, 17 is still considered a child. And I don't understand where 
why for people of color, as soon as they hit a certain height, it's just like you are no longer a child. You know, you can be 13 and people, some people would see you as a grown man and you're like, well, I'm 13. I'm in the eighth grade. Like, what is this? But it's his story. It took me long because I had to keep putting it down mentally. I just couldn't. I had to put it down, had to pick it up, had to put it down. Finally got through it. I'm not going to tell you any spoilers. Okay, I will tell you before I do a spoiler if I have to. I don't think I'm going to say anything spoiler. But it was definitely worth the read. I would have made this a required reading for my summer camp if I was still running camp. Um, I think my young boys could have learned a lot from this. Even though they live it on a daily basis, unfortunately. But this is the kind of book where... As a person, you realize that, unfortunately, you really have to be aware of who you're surrounding yourself by at all times because it's just, you just don't have the luxury not to. And that's all I'm going to say about the book. It is a must read. I would read it. I would suggest it for any young teenage, preteen to read this book. It's great for group discussions. They even do the work for you guys. They give you discussion questions to pose to your groups. So you don't have to come up with anything yourself. Um, I great, I truly enjoyed it. Now I'm rambling. So let's get into the movie. Now the Netflix movie is called Monster. It was originally supposed to be called All Rise, but I guess they decided to just name it the name of the book Monster. Um, I enjoyed the movie. The movie is not long, which is good. The movie gets directly to the point, which is great. Um, it starts off with his trial. You're seeing everything. And the good thing about the book is because the book is written the way it is, the movie just basically follows directly along with the book. Um, spoiler alert. I'm going to give you time. This is a spoiler alert because I can't talk about the movie in the book without kind of giving up the ending. He is found not guilty. Okay. He's found not guilty in the book and in the movie. They didn't change anything. What I did not like about the movie, and it's, it's a big thing, but it's a small thing because I truly enjoyed the movie. In the book, they do not um imply that he had anything to do with this this um robbery he was charged with being the lookout or no not the lookout he was charged with making sure the bodega was clear before the two main robbers um boho i think it was and king were go into rob it so he his role in the robbery quote unquote role was to go into the bodega and make sure there was no police officers in there and nobody was in there. And he was supposed to come out and signal the other two so that they were clear. Um, two witnesses in, against him were one, a, a younger gentleman, a 15 year old who automatically hated him. They weren't friends. They were beefing in the neighborhood. So that who admittedly was a part of the robbery and King, who was his acquaintance, his cousin, who was testifying against both of them. Now, King and Stephen were on trial together, but they both had their own separate attorneys in the book and in the movie. They kept the movie very in sync with the book. Um, so you have two admitted uh, partners in the robbery testifying against two people who are denying that they had anything to do with it. So you already had that aspect of it. He, what I did not like about the movie is they kind of admit that he did kind of have something to do with it, which they did not imply in the book. Now, I don't know if it went over my head, I missed it, but I tried to go back and tried to make sure that I did not miss that part, but they did not imply that he had anything to do with it in the book. In the movie, they do. They kind he, in the movie, they make his relationship with King 
bigger than they do in the book. In the book, he says he's he's seen them in the neighborhood, he's seen them in the park, they've talked about football, basketball, and they've, you know, come and go. In the movie, they make it seem like he really, like they were friends. They were hanging out, he was filming King um, for his documentary for school, uh, they were playing chess together in the park. They were friends in the movie, I would say. They were, they really weren't friends in the books. They were truly acquaintances. I see you, I say hello, I keep pushing, you know? But the movie kind of changed that. So in the movie, King makes it, uh, um, makes it clear that he deems loyalty as a sign of respect and friendship. And He's asking of Steven to be loyal to him. But Steven is, he's a good kid. He's coming from a good home. He has two very successful parents. They, in the movie, they come off as well off. Two black, very successful parents. They live in Harlem in the big brownstone. The dad, I think, is like a marketing executive, advertisement agent. Um, advertisement agent. Uh, he, they come from money so he's not your stereotypical black kid that comes from this broken home and you know struggling mom's trying to make ends meet so she really doesn't care what you're doing as long as you're not in her way kind of situation so he, he just in the book it doesn't come off like that they just seem like a normal black family they don't come it doesn't seem like they come from means in the movie they do um so back to the point of changing in the movie steven rides by king as king and um his cousin are preparing to rob the bodega he's on his bike he king kind of sends him in there to check and he gets aggressive with him which because steven comes from this lifestyle that really is not used to that he's like scared so king takes his back and was like go check and see if it's clear like i'm just telling you like you're my friend go go check and see if it's clear i'll hold your bike for you but he's very aggressive with it so steven's kind of like scared so he just goes in the bodega he gets something to drink he talks to the bodega owner but in his mind he knows you know what he's doing is wrong he knows that king is up to something but he's not per se part of the planning, the plot. He doesn't get the money. He doesn't get the cigarettes which they stole afterwards. He, in his mind, he knows what he did was wrong. But he feels like he was forced to do it because he was scared. And he never said anything afterwards. I didn't like that. Because... In the book, they made it very clear that he had nothing to do with it. He didn't know what was going on. King didn't tell him anything. I don't know why they needed to make the change in the movie to imply that he really did have something to do with it. Because it kind of comes off as he's getting away with it. But he's, he's not getting away with it. That decision to befriend King changed his life. And he realizes in the book as well as in the movie that the company you keep can be your downfall. Even if you're honestly an innocent person. Um, that was my only gripe with the movie. The fact that they changed it to imply that he did really have something to do with it. Even if it wasn't intentional. Even if it wasn't um, planned as on Steven's part. Um... Fortunately, they find him not guilty. Of course, King is guilty because he did it. Um, and his cousin ran on him and he ends up going to jail. 25 years of life. The little boy, 15-year-old in the book, ends up getting off. Then gets arrested for stealing a car. And then gets arrested for something else and get, ends up getting sent upstate to like a detention center home. Um... And the movie, I, okay, so the movie wasn't as heavy-handed as I thought they were going to be. They kept it kind of light. It's a lot of back and forth flashbacks, so you have to pay attention. Um, again, they make the relationship between Stephen and King 
bigger than it was in the book. Which I understand why the movie has to be more dramatic. You need more suspense to things. But I would give the movie three and a half, three and a half stars. The book is a solid four. The book is definitely worth the read. And that's my comparison. Of course, the book is always better than the movie, guys. That's just what it is. And that is it for the book, Monster, versus the movie, Monster. Like, comment, subscribe. I need to remember to say that more often. Share. Um, thumbs up on the movie. They did an excellent job. The book is a classic, of course. It's won multiple awards. Um, everything's good in Philly so far. Peace out, guys. Everybody have a great day from work to read.